Hey everybody, Carol here. Welcome to Cosmic Carol Creations. And today, this is called, How Cursed Is This Canvas? As you can see, it's been scraped, and this is actually the third time, trying to get some beachy ocean colors. Now, let me tell you what I'm doing now, because I'm going to do a straight pour with the same colors. I start with my Saks True Flow Heavy Bodied White, then I've got 24 karat gold, then I've got a burnt umber and bronze color, which is beautiful. Then I have a metallic cobalt with a lot of white. Then I've got my phthalo blue and metallic blue. There's a little more white again, a little more gold. Then I've got the straight metallic cobalt blue, which is so pretty. And then the white, and as you see, I'm just layering back and forth. And those are my colors trying to get a, uh, as I said, beachy, sandy look. Also, to my white, I put a dollop of burnt umber just to bring it to a warm white stage. But it, it really doesn't look tan. It still looks white. So I tried a couple different techniques and just was not happy with the results each time. So... This time, I'm just going to do a straight pour and tilt, and you'll see that coming up soon. The paints are thick enough that you could stand your stick up in them, because I like to make them uh, fairly thick for a straight pour. So normally, it's one-to-one -one with my medium but depending on the paint i'm using some paints are a lot thinner so they took a little less medium and some paints took a little more medium so you really have to gauge it and just put a little in at a time because i basically eyeball i don't measure uh specifically so my medium that i use is two parts Elmer's glue all to one part water. So in other words, in a jug, I put a cup of glue all, half of cup of water, two to one. Okay. And again, I eyeball it, <clears throat> shake it up in my container and let it sit overnight. So everything settles the bubbles and the foam and you don't get a bunch of uh, air bubbles when you mix with your paints. So here we go, I'm going to do the pour now. This whole video is just sped up two times. So you can still see everything going on. Oh, so far so good. I'm liking how this is pouring out. And uh, I'm going to give it a torch. And you'll see some uh, things start popping up as I'm popping bubbles. There's no silicone in these paints. Any kind of reaction is, I'm sure, from the metallics, the 24 karat gold and uh, the metallic blue and the metallic uh, cobalt blue and the bronze. So, as I said, two times speed and it's still going pretty slow, so you can see how slowly I tilt. You don't want to rush it. You want to keep bringing the weight of the paint back to the center as you go to each corner. And that could be different every time because you have to look at your composition and what you've got there. What do you like? What don't you like? What do you want to stretch out to see what else is under there? What do you want to tip off? So 
So as I'm doing this, I'm looking at the bottom half toward me and really liking the white areas mixing with the blue. It so much looks like water moving. But the brown, hmm, not so much. Maybe the bronze was a bad idea. It looked so pretty in the cup, but it just, just wasn't working. But I figured, let me stretch this out and I'll take a look at it because you know, you just can't give up sometimes. You know that you can get something if you keep trying and you don't have to be stuck with what you pour out and you don't have to scrape the whole thing either. If you like part of it, you can keep it. The nice thing about these paints being uh, mixed with their mediums usually gives them a little more time to stay fluid. So you've got some more work time. So now I'm just tilting and stretching out and looking at it and trying to decide what's okay and what's not okay. And at one point I even walk away and leave it for about half an hour and then come back again, which you'll see coming up. You can tell by the light through the window that it's a little later. So here I just decided that I love the white swirly water, but I just didn't like the look of the land or the beach area. So I'm gonna scrape that off. And I've decided that I'm going to take all my leftover paints plus a little magenta and add a drop of water to each to make it almost water, watercolor thin and just start dropping those colors. There's a little bit of magenta I decided to add in just for a, a pop of color. And you can see how much more watery the paints are as I just throw them out there. That was the brown and the bronze, very watery. And 24 karat gold, because now I decided, you know what? I am going to go for some cool effects. And I'm going to wet paper towel and just swipe it on down, wiggling it a little bit as I go. Sometimes a wet paper towel will just do the trick if you just want a whole lot of different effects coming up. And formations. So I didn't have any balloons to try that kind of a thing like a balloon smash or anything. But I find sometimes just taking the corner of my wet paper towel does a whole lot. And on top of that, I will dip it into the color and then drag it. Here I'm just using my stick to spread the, the white water flow through the center because that's what it's starting to look like to me. It's not necessarily a beach, it's more, in my mind, looking down at a delta. And the water flowing through the, the little waterway there. And you can see just as I'm doing that, that the gold and the browns and the blue, everything is popping up with little effects. And I, like I said, no silicone whatsoever, just by making it a little watered down and throwing it on there over the paint that wasn't watered down. It just causes all kinds of effects, cells, and shapes without any silicone. So here's where I was dipping 
into the, the watered down paint that was left in the cups and dragging through. So my point of this whole thing is that you do not have to give up and it does not have to end up being a cursed canvas. Sometimes you got to let go of the original idea in your head that I had of a, a beach and the water coming in on the edge of the sand because the paints just start telling a different story. But you can get something really beautiful in the end. Don't be afraid to play around with it. This is abstract after all. So all of you that have been subscribed to my channel and watching my videos, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. And anyone that's here for the first time, I hope if you like what you see, you will give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell, choose all, and then you will get future notifications every time that I post something. And now I'm just reinforcing that waterway that I see going through the delta. And you'll see when I bring it down for the close-ups how really cool the, the white water just seems like it's just flowing through with ripples heading toward that small opening. And then the land is all multicolored and... Uh, lots of little cells and things. And I waited until this dried before I took the final pictures. So what you will see is the completely dried painting, which I think came out great because then the metallics really popped. Now I know I mentioned what colors I used, but in the description below, I will list everything again, because I know I went through it quickly. And also you'll find other things like my Instagram, Facebook page, etc., etc. if you go check out the description below. Just adding in some more of that beautiful cobalt metallic blue and some of the darker phthalo blue. And all just with the tip of a damp paper towel. You don't need any fancy tools to get some really cool effects. That's for sure. And here I threw in, I had 
a tiny bit of just the plain white without that little bit of uh, burnt umber in it and just threw a little of that around in there for a little more interest and detail. And then, of course, my final torch. And I am finally happy after three scrapings with the results on this canvas. So thanks for watching. And here comes the dried results. Very, very happy, as you can see, all the cells and different things that popped up and all the metallics. It's very layered, I think, in 3D. So hopefully you'll join me again for my next video. And until then, please stay safe, be well, be kind, and have a great day.